everybody welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do a diy country crate centerpiece this is the country crate that i made i'll link the tutorial down below some pumpkins or ribbon or flowers we get some flowers from the dollar tree these birds are from the dollar tree and some foam blocks you can also pick up the dollar tree um i'm gonna link this tutorial down below this is the country crate that we made a few months back and we're going to make an autumn arrangement and this is going to be one that we're not going to permanently attach to this crate <laughs> um you know i don't i don't like to make any things just like specifically just for an item so i'm just measuring the foam crates for the bottom what i've done is i've overlapped one um put one on the left put one next to it and overlapped it so i could cut it down to its proper size and i'm going to use a very sophisticated tool my metal ruler and I'm just gonna slap so this is actually the wet foam it's not wet yet but it's for uh, fresh flowers and usually it's less expensive and if you're not trying to make a permanent arrangement it is very it is just enough um, I wanted to not apologize ahead of time but let you guys know ahead of time that this video is shot from overhead so um, I will show you it on the side when I'm done but it's very different perspective overhead so what I'm doing now is I'm placing the leaf picks um, that we uploaded yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, just check it out. I'll let the link in the description box down below. And I've made these for just pennies um, from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing is I'm laying them around. Um, those of you who are new, I've mentioned it before that I took a class, a flower arranging class at 1-800-Flowers with Homemakers of America. And I learned that they like to put their base filler, basically their greens down um, first because they could use less of the more expensive florals. So now what I'm doing is I just was trying to figure out my arrangement. And what you want to do is you want to have these um, leaves facing out. Um, you're, though we're looking down at the top, this is going to be the centerpiece for a table and you want your guests and you know your family and guests to see it head on so you want the leaves the leaf fronts to be facing out um, I have different varieties of leaf picks um, that I made plus we have some flowers so just to let you know a little bit of the background I have flowers that I bought last year on clearance at Walmart and at the Dollar General plus some Dollar Tree flowers and Dollar Tree leaves that you can use. Um, I also have some pumpkins that I bought a couple of years ago on clearance that are foam, but you can buy the foam uh, pumpkins at the Dollar Tree, and the burlap birds are from the Dollar Tree. Um, so that's where I sourced all the, all the uh, items from. So you can do this for as little as most money as you want. Um, a little as most money? Yeah, as little money as you want. <laughs> oh boy, I'm tired. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted the leaves to sort of act as a um, as a break in the eye from the crate to the neutral colored flowers. I've decided to only pick the neutral colored flowers and I'm actually only picking two types of flowers. I have a huge bu bunch of these big mums that I had gotten from Walmart last year. Um, they were originally $3 for the bunch, very long stemmed. And I got them for 50% off clearance so that they were $1.50 when I got them. And they're way more flowers than you get at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm cutting them down. Um, those of you who are new, the cutting technique I use for flowers is I just use my standard scissor. I spin, close the scissor down on where I want the break to be in the leaves. And I spin it around to cut the plastic. And that gently scores the wire and then I just snap the wire back and forth until the flower breaks off. And what I've decided to do here is I'm actually cutting off all of the flowers before I go ahead and stick them in the arrangement. I just like to be able to have all of my supplies at hand. Mise en place I think is the French word. I'm probably butchering it but it just means everything in its place. So what I've used here is eight of the the mums these giant mums and then one bouquet of hydrangea that is the same color from the Dollar Tree and like I said I've 
um, just used my color. The only color that I have is in the leaves because I wanted this to seem so nor still sort of neutral. And though there is orange in the leaves, um, I also have leaves, leaves that are like beige and look like they're dying and then some with the golden tone, but I still feel like it is very neutral. Um, but because that color line, that little bit of color line that we do have is between the crate and the flowers, it does help um, visually help your eye break it up. What I've taken here is two four ounce mason jars that actually used to have candles in them from the Dollar Tree. And I've just used them to give my pillars a little height. I only have four inch pillars and I wanted them to um, just be the same height as the tops of the flowers. So I just put some jars down there to elevate them. Um, you can't really see the jars once we cover them with flowers, but anything you need to do. If you get taller pillars, if you get um, if you get taper candles, if you get candle holders, you can do whatever you want. I'm just trying to show you what I decided to do. All right, and just to give you some tips and techniques. So what I've done is I'm trying to make this arrangement so that if you're on the east side of the table or the west side of the table, it'll look the same. Um, or almost the same. So I'm basically balancing, making it a mirror image um, from the one long side to the other long side. Um, so if I have, um, if, I'm, if I'm from left to right, if it's, um, if it's like mom, uh, mom, candle, hydrangea, candle, mom, mom, like that. Um, and then when I do the same thing with the pumpkins. So the pumpkins are four different pumpkins. Um, they still will work because they're all the same color. There's all that same ivory color. So now I'm just doing whatever looks good. I'm laid my basis of my leaves. I've added the bulk of the flowers and now I'm filling in wherever I think um, I could add some leaves or I can add some glitter. I've made three um, of these picks really long with the glittery leaves on them, but I'm treating them like a flower where I'm making them front and center as opposed to treating them like a background like all the other picks are like background filler um, and don't forget that the flowers are all on wires and they bend you know some of the picks are on sticks so they won't bend but the flowers are on wires and if you want the f face of the blossom to face your guests go ahead and twist it and turn it just you know do it do it firmly but gently if that makes sense because you don't want to pop the head off on accident <laughs> okay so now I'm taking my foam pumpkins and I'm sticking skewers up their underside um, and I'm making picks out of those. And you don't have to necessarily do this. I just know that this is, um, it's not a big deal. If I ever put the pumpkins down on something, I'm poking the holes on the underside so I wouldn't see it anyway. Um, but if you have pumpkins that you'd like to add to your arrangement that are not styrofoam, say that they're ceramic or um even fabric. Obviously, fabric pumpkins you could glue to a, to a stick to create a pick. But if they were um, ceramic or something, you can put like a candle holder underneath it. Same way we did um, like the mason jar underneath the candle. Something to elevate it so it can actually sit on there but still look like it's in the arrangement. Um, but one of the things that I like to do is I like to take the fun tack, the poster tack. It's a blue poster tack and Jot Brand does carry it. I'm sorry, Dollar Tree does carry Jot Brand. Um, and what you do is it's almost like a little putty and you take a little putty between fingers and you just put it, um, it will help temporarily hold the pumpkin in place. Of course, depending on how heavy it is and stuff. Okay. So that's just some ideas. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking these burlap birds and they had a metal alligator clips on them. Um, so what I've done is I've just taken my little scissor to use my scissor as like a pliers and I've just pulled the alligator clip out of the bird. And then I've stuck the sharp end of the skewer up there to create a hole. This foam bird is very, very densely packed foam. Not all of them are. So obviously, whatever you decide to use, then you go ahead and choose. And then I just broke the stick in half or at whatever height I wanted to so I could add it to the arrangement. And now I'm taking this um, burlap ribbon with printed on leaves that I got on clearance at, from Walmart last year. Now... Clearance shopping after the season, some of you, it's just an everyday thing that we always do. But for some of you who don't realize what a great resource that is, as long as you have some place to store the item until next year, it is definitely the, old, like the way that I can afford most of what I get is on clearance. Um, 
So what I've decided to do is I've decided to take this ribbon and just to add a little more country to this arrangement. I've um, tucked one end under one side and I've tried to do that same mirror image weaving. I'm going to weave it in and out and I'm going to tuck it around the flowers and candles. Um, and I don't have any intention of lighting these candles. Like I was mentioned in an earlier video, I never light my decorative candles. But if you if you did want this to light up, you could absolutely put the Dollar Tree um, electric electric pillars in there. Um, I actually should stick some electric pillars in there to show it to you lit up. Maybe I'll do that. Check out Instagram. Maybe I'll do that for Instagram. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm taking the ribbon and I'm weaving it in and out. And what I'm doing is I'm pinching sections to squeeze together. Um, it's wired so it'll hold. If you see I pinch the sections there and once the section is pinched I push down and create a new section. And what I'm doing is if I'm on the left, on, on the side that I'm looking at, if, I, if it starts on the left and it bows out towards me, hits the center, and then I'm going to make sure it bows out on the other side across so that if I turn it around, it's, it's a, you know, like I said, if you turn it around, it looks the same from whatever side of the seat you're, whatever side of the table you're on. And that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun doing it. I haven't done flower arranging in forever, it seems like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with friends and family, anybody you know who'd be interested in making an arrangement like this. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and click that little notification bell and YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. And as always, take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye.